Welcome to Missouri University of Science and Technology's 2002 Solar House. This house was built for entry in the very first U.S. Department of Energy Solar Decathlon in Washington, D.C. The teams compete in 10 contests, earning scores based on technical and architectural merit, as well as their ability to function as a typical home. The 2002 competition team consisted of a joint venture between students from Missouri S&T and Raleigh Technical Institute. Engineering students from S&T designed the home, while students from RTI contributed expertise on hands-on construction. The goal of the 2002 team during the design process was to create a home that the average consumer would find comfortable and familiar. This impression of comfort is embodied in the typical ranch-style home you see behind me. This home could easily fit into the average American neighborhood. However, if you look behind me, you can see many of its not-so-traditional features. Time-tested design techniques introduced thousands of years ago were utilized to cut energy costs. These techniques, commonly known as passive solar design, are exemplified in many ways in this home, such as the orientation of the house as well as the positioning of the windows. The house is elongated along the east to west axis with most of the windows positioned on the south side. This allows enough daylight in to replace electric lighting until nightfall. It also contributes to passive heating and cooling. Notice the overhangs along the roof. These were specifically designed to block unwanted light and therefore heat during the summer when the sun is high in the sky. These same overhangs allow that heat and light to enter the home during the winter when the sun is lower. An active use of the sun can be seen on the roof. The angle of the roof is designed to optimize the generation of electricity and the absorption of heat for domestic hot water use. Powering the entire home is a photovoltaic array of 32 solar panels that generate over 5 kilowatts of electricity. Because the local utility allows the house to be net metered, when the panels are producing more electricity than needed, the meter will actually turn backwards and the occupant will get paid by the utility company. Also seen on the roof is the solar thermal system. This system begins with the array of evacuated tubes you can see on the roof. The tubes contain a vacuum in order to more efficiently absorb the energy from the sun and convert it to heat. The heat gained by the tubes is then transferred to a hot water tank via a heat exchanger and a closed loop liquid system to be used as a domestic hot water supply. The solar decathlon takes place in Washington, D.C., meaning that this house must be built to be transported. This house was built into three different sections so that they could be easily transported on tractor trailers, complete with a hinged roof that met all road safety height requirements. The south-facing sunroom is a major passive heating element of the house. The room is covered in ceramic tiles that act as a thermal mask. These tiles collect heat from the direct sunlight that enters in during the cooler months. In the winter, that heat is then transferred into the room. This room also acts as a thermal buffer zone, controlling the temperature between the main living area and the outside, much like a vestibule in a commercial building. This home consists of one bathroom, one bedroom, and this common area, a kitchen, desk, and living room, all in under 800 square feet as required by the competition. The interior of the home features a traditional look to match the exterior. The cabinets and light fixtures are common to what can be found in most houses. However, some unique features give this home its edge. The dishwasher was disguised to match the surrounding cabinets and convey a sleeker look. However, some unique features give this home its edge. The dishwasher was disguised to match the cabinets, conveying a sleeker look. In this competition, Missouri S&T placed first in the refrigeration contest. This refrigerator is a DC-powered refrigerator, which is different than the typical AC power used by most homes. In most photovoltaic systems, the solar panels are connected to an inverter, which take the direct current generated by the solar panels and convert them to a alternating current power. This refrigerator bypasses all of those conversions and the inefficiencies associated with it, making it more effective. Another unique feature about the home is this movable wall, which can remain closed for privacy or can be opened up to create one large room. 